Okay, so this is my new, I'm going to call this the x-axis carriage. Um, I like to think of Y as being forward and back, the table moving back and forth. This way, I'm calling X. This is my new Z-axis. I've, I've, um, uh, I think I'm the first one to design this type of stabilizer for the motor. The motor is quite tall. It's 500 watt motor. And this um, is mounted in place of the standoffs for the stepper motor. And the diameter in here is just slightly bigger than the motor diameter. So it slides freely up and down. And it prevents it from um, torquing in any, any direction. X and Y. And let's see. So I just cut this. I'm going to cut again. I'm going to pause this and start this cut. But I went down a millimeter and it did a really nice job. It was going, this was before I made my Y axis modification, the new carriage. And this was extremely noisy, extremely jittery, and about four times slower in speed. Uh, I'm going to start the cut at minus one millimeter and I'm going to go down to um, 1.2 millimeters. So I'm going to pause this, get stuff going. Okay, that's just the, the fan on the motor and the motor spinning. And um, I'm going to begin here. I'm going pretty aggressively. Actually, I'm going to slow it up just a tiny bit. That was pretty fantastic, honestly. For what this what this machine is, being able to cut metal. This is an aluminum heat sink. And we're just beginning. Pretty cool. Most of my work is going to be on softer materials, and uh, yeah, this is awesome. As you can see, the new nut, the new nut down inside there, uh, goes up in the bottom. This this uh, is wor really working awesome. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching.